stable, unstable, neutral, equilibrium. Where on the x-axis we have position, on the y-axis we have potential energy. It is easiest to understand this with examples. This is an example of something that has neutral equilibrium. When I take and I displace the object, the center of mass does not go up, therefore it does not gain gravitational potential energy, right? That is neutral equilibrium. This is unstable equilibrium. Right? If I displace it from its equilibrium position, it will decrease the gravitational potential energy and therefore follow. This is stable equilibrium. It goes back, right? When I displace it, the center of mass actually goes up and the gravitational potential energy increases. Now notice that this is only stable to a certain point, right? So in order to get something that looks like that, this graph actually would not quite look like that. But that is the difference between stable, unstable, and neutral equilibrium. But what was neutral again? Neutral is the, the, the ball, the sphere. It's the center of mass isn't going to go up or down. So it will just keep at the same amount of gravitational potential energy flat. Wouldn't the marker be stable too with some degree? Yeah, and, and right. So like there's a, there's a fine line between stable and unstable. I mean, in order for this to be unstable, it would actually have to be a perfect point. I'd have to be able to balance it perfectly, which I wasn't going to try in front of the class because it wouldn't work, right? But in theory, it would 